There are critical factors associated with people who are inspired. Today we'll discuss three of these critical factors. <clears throat> Margaret here at margaretchism.com and Stress-Free Living. Number one, confidence in their abilities. Even though they may not be experts in everything, each and every one of them knows the ins and the outs of their specialties. They've been trained, practiced, and or coached to master a skill. They know they can accomplish the feat at hand, or at least they are sure that they can get good at it, if given the time and the opportunity. As a result, they have a quiet confidence that isn't arrogant or overbearing. They walk around with that inner certainty that they are good at what they do. And the true professionals always know when it comes to their own performance. They have no problem saying, I never do things halfway. Confidence in one's abilities is possibly the most critical pieces of any successful self-image. Two, a willingness to experiment. The key to finding the right solution is to be open-minded enough to try any workable idea and discard all else. Look at the problem from a new perspective or maybe discovered it was not really a problem. When the solution becomes obvious, look again. It is important to keep in mind that there are no bad ideas. It's more important to understand why some ideas work and others don't. A single bad idea can cost you more time than a hundred good ones. So don't stop looking for better ideas just because you've discovered one that works. Every problem has many possible solutions. Each of these solutions has its own set of advantages and disadvantages. You can get closer to the right solution by adopting a different set of assumptions or trying out different approaches. Remember that there's no such thing as a failed experiment. Every failure just leads you one step closer to the answer. If you examine why your ideas aren't working, you'll usually discover that one or more of your assumptions is wrong. Three, the ability not to see failure as a negative. Confident people see failure as part of the learning process. Failure is an essential element in the passage from incompetence to competence. It's what teaches us what works and what doesn't. It often serves as a warning that we are making choices that may have negative consequences later on. We should view failure as information, a signal that we need to pay attention, modify our behavior, and try something else. Failure can even act as a motivational tool to try harder the next time. In addition to helping us learn, Failure also helps others see us as human beings who make mistakes and are not perfect. Experiencing failure acknowledges that we are not all-knowing and makes us more approachable. It is an essential element in building strong relationships where it is safe to take risks and come up with creative solutions. Failure is also an essential element in personal growth. There are no shortcuts. We must take the time to learn from our mistakes, assess what went wrong, and understand why it happened. Then we can make the necessary corrections if we want to achieve success at a later date. As you can see, being inspired makes us more creative. This leads to better problem solving and decision making. Being inspired means you understand the big picture behind whatever it is you're doing. Thanks for liking and subscribing. If you hit the bell icon, you'll receive notification of future episodes. Check out the links below for more information.